good morning you guys it's Karen and I wanted to come and talk about this this is the Parwin Pro uh, automatic curling tongs so you can see that it's got a little clip I actually had one like this called Enrapture I don't know whether you remember and I really liked it um, it's, I like a clip on my curling tongs, but this one is automatically rotating. And so I was super interested in this when I saw it on um, Amazon because one of the things that I find difficult with the arthritis in my wrist is like when I've got the bit of hair on, you'll see me doing this. I am demoing it. I know I've got straight hair today, but I am demoing this. Doing this motion actually hurts my wrists. And so I was like, this is gonna be really, really good for anyone with mobility issues, I think. So let me try it. Um, and my favorite curling tong is the GHD curling tong. I did have another sort of rotating one, but it had little spokes on the end. And it just, every time I put it on, on and sort of tried to spin it, it wouldn't do the curl quite right. And I felt like afterwards I had to sort of correct a few bits, you know. So like I said, I was really interested in trying this. This goes up to 210 degrees. It has a nice long lead. It's not like crazy long, but you know, it's long enough. It's a fast heat up. Um, and it's automatic. I mean, it's just, that's the thing that really appealed to me because like I said, I have real problems with my wrists. And so to, to just hold it and spin it, I just thought that is perfect. So I didn't do it this morning because I don't actually curl my hair that often. And I don't have time today, to be honest. And I don't really want to, I've just washed my hair. So I was like, you know what? I don't feel like curling it at the minute. Um, but I have got a demo for you. I've got me using this. I had posted it on, I think I posted it on YouTube here on one of those little posts. So I shall put that in now so that you can have a look and then I'll come back and tell you my final. I'm not thought. gonna do my hair my usual way. Let me just switch this on. So there's a button just at the bottom there. It says 180, it's flashing. I'm assuming that it'll stop flashing when it's, oh yeah, oh, it's actually showing you it climbing. So that's good. That's not gonna take long at all. Um, yeah, I'm doing my hair a little bit differently because I've already got this plait in it for today. And so I'm gonna leave that in and curl it because that can qu work quite well if you've got a sort of little ponytail because then you can curl it on the right side. I would normally like pin all this up and do the bottom layer, then the middle layer, you know, but I'm not. I'm just gonna play around with it today and see and try and put a little bit of curl in it. So 170 already, so it's probably a two minute heat up, I'd say. So you can turn this either way. And I think if you just press that button there, it automatically turns it a certain amount. So, well, it's now at 180. So yeah, I would say that's a two minute. So what I like about this is it's got, it's got a clamp at the bottom. So I will put it as far at the bottom as I can. And then, oh no, that's not the right way. That's the right way. Oh, it's fairly slow. It's a bit slower than I expected. Nice. Let me try it on the automatic one. I don't know if the automatic ones. No, that's the wrong way. The automatic one seems like it's only going the one way. Yeah, it seems like it'll only, I'll only be able to use the automatic one for the the other side. I have to say, it's definitely easier on my hand, even though I'm holding it having to do that if you've got any sort of elbow problems which I do is difficult so I'm not gonna, gonna try and um, not keep it in too long because that's how you get a nice loose uh, loose what loose curl sort of almost more a wave and 180 is is that ideal heat isn't it that's supposed to be the best heat for for curls to stay. I keep wanting to twist it myself just because obviously that's what I'm used to. So you have to keep your finger on it, but you can, as you can see, just stop it to move it up a bit. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> I can't work out if that's quicker than what I'd do it myself. I'll do the next one manually and see. You can tell me what you think. I am definitely impatient. I think things take always take longer than I expect them to. That's if I was doing it myself. Put it under there. 
Well, it's probably about the same, isn't it? Probably about the same. It's just less effort doing it the other way. Now, my hands are kind of pressing against the button. You do need to be careful about that as, as you're holding it. Can I do this in a one hand? No, probably not. It needs to be two, doesn't it? Okay, so that's one side done. I really like how it's curled it. Really like it. I'm saying one side, I need to do half of this ponytail, don't I? <laughs> so that's this side done. It's amazing the difference in there, length it makes, eh? But um, yeah, I really like the way that's curled that. So I'm gonna be so interested to see if this stays in. Right, I shall do the other side. I'll probably speed it up, but let me first um, use the automatic button and see how we get on with that. Now the only thing is this is I'm just going to turn it back round to the front. So let's just grab some hair and see how we get on with that automatic button. Oh, it doesn't go too far at all. So you do have to keep pressing. So that'll be fine for ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> that was a bit too tight. Um, that would be fine for short hair, but for long hair, you're going to need to press that a few times. Um, so yeah, it's best to do it manually, so. Okay, you guys, that's it finished. I really like the look that that's, that's created. I probably need to do that one again. Um, I'm actually going to wash my hair later, so I don't, I don't worry. I won't worry how this looks. Actually, you know what? I might leave washing until tomorrow if it looks like these curls are going to, stay in um, and see how long they last because I'm not not doing anything that I need to wash it for if you know what I mean um, but yeah I really like that so you can see that it is it's super easy to use you just put your hair in and either press that way or that way and it turns now you do have to hold your hand on the button um, unless you use this top one and for me at the length of my hair if I press that twice it's about right so you would just press and release and it turns it press and release and it turns it or you can just hold your hand on the button um, I think I'll probably end up just pressing that button twice just so that there's less pressure on my hands you know um, I really enjoyed this the, it'll be interesting to see if I still enjoy it in like a couple of months time if this is still the one I'm reaching for but I think I, can, I think I, I will I think it will be because it's like my GHD it's got a shorter clip the, the GHD is longer but it's the same size and it's just easier for me to use by pressing that button um, I think I probably said in the video that I do think it's a bit slow I wish it was a bit faster however I think if it was faster it would be dangerous I think that it is actually the perfect speed and if I like I said if it was faster I think for me I'd end up like it would go too quickly to your head especially if you had short hair you know and you might end up burning your head or something so I think it's actually the perfect speed um, and it shouldn't really be any faster I think that's just me being impatient so um, yeah that's everything to tell you about that I will link it for you and um, let me know what you think let me know if you have seen any of these before there was another one on Amazon that was cheaper but I don't know if that one was as good you know I don't know obviously can't can't speak about that one I can't remember if it had a, a clip like this either um, but I'd always hoped that would happen I'd always used to look at my G GHD and think I would love it if that was rotating you know so and this isn't it isn't anywhere near as expensive as a GHD but it is good. Um, the one thing I forgot to tell you about was how long the curls lasted because I think I talked in that video about how long the curls, how long I was hoping they would last and I wouldn't wash my hair if they did, if they did last. I did end up washing my hair which is why there was no picture um, because they, they lasted okay considering. So what happened was I went out and got rained on and then I had to stand in the wind for like 15 minutes because I was waiting to drop Watson off at the vets and they're having a refurb done and so there's no waiting room so you have to stand outside. Literally the, the wind was blowing my hair all over the place and that was after it had got rained on. So there wasn't much of a curl left after um, at the end of that day when I had curled it but I was impressed with the little bit there was you know and I was like so I need to trial that again but it's not I don't ever really expect that any one tong is going to make my hair last any longer I think that it's more to do with 
particular hair types. Some, some hair types hold a curl, mine just doesn't like to. Um, and maybe to do with how much product you leave in it. And also, I think the biggest thing for me is the heat you use. So I'm gonna try and use this on 180, which is supposedly the best heat, um, and not hold it too long in your hair. It, curls seem to last longer for me if I don't have as much heat on them you know so instead of just holding it for a few seconds like as soon as it's wound up almost then let, let go of it and then it seems to last longer so yeah I hope that that was useful to you it's an interesting new gadget isn't it um I'll leave description leave I'll leave the description I'll leave details of my makeup in the description and I'll speak to you again soon